it's the beard, mum. You have a beard. Yeah, but you have like this. This I, I, I get like, like glaciers. Sham it takes ages to get to this point. Between the two of us, though, only one of us has been stopped at airport. Security on suspicion of being a terrorist. Sorry, are you making? So I know. I'll change the gravitation constant of the universe to make myself heavier. No, what? I'm, I'm already heavier. I'm just saying that, like, if I. So what like, was the point then? If you're not changing to make you heavier, and not changing to make you lighter, what are you changing it just to fuck over the universe? I'm just saying that me being. What you want to make stars just all explode at once, like that one uh, uh, Hitchhiker's book? I'm just saying that me being fat provides some interesting difficulties. Interesting difficulties. Some interesting difficulties. Not like those boring difficulties. <laughs> no, boring difficulties are the worst. Anyway, it's time for us to pay more money at the ATM. At least I think it's time to pay more money at the ATM. I thought yes. you had, because in your game pass you had loads of money. Yeah, it's just hard keeping track of what we've done between weeks. I don't Wait, even... why do I see blue lights outside the window? Oh no, they've tracked us down that fast. Christ. Well, no, they send you initial letters, they knew where you live. Service. Now it's just kids are knocking on the door saying, um... Is this your registered is address? Well, no, it isn't. We live in the Philippines at the moment. Really matter, um, this is just our summer home. Oh, just wait until they see about my TV license. Let's go together. What? Number four. You have a TV license? No, that's the thing. Oh, good. I was about wait. to say. Did you pay for something like right? that? You know, they'll be like, Oh, have you got a license for that Let's Play channel? And then I'll get shanked in the prison. What did you say? Someone's well, robbing saying, you what are you going to prison for? An unregistered play, uh, Let's Play. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Gotta send gotta send you registration card for it to play normal heroes. It's too American for England. You know made in Japan. Yeah, it's too American. That's why Wait, they said. So you because it's a Japanese game, well it's are we going back into Peter Seraphon and show? In order to stream, you need to get permission from uh the company what well, the country which the game was made in. So you need to uh email what the foreign office of Japan saying, Can we stream this game? And then we also need another uh, permission from the game company itself. Yes. So now imagine the response from both of them would be, yes, don't waste our time in this. If you have any similar inquiries, <laughs> the default from us is yes. A few moments later. Is it just me, or when you hear Donald Hamburger, you just imagine, like, the fast food riddled cousin of Donald Trump? No, I just imagine Donald Trump. Remember? He tried to take over the world. Oh, true. We can arm the city grimace. That's right, this man has the longest fucking name. Sorry, I read Harvey, and the second part of it, I only saw half through this pillar, so my brain's autocorrect filled it into something else. Who do you know of a famous person whose name starts with Henry? Uh, Harvey. I, lo I love the fact that, like, your, def like, your default on this was that Travis has to go and beat the shit out of the Weinstein Foundation. No, not the Foundation, just Weinstein himself. Oh... Didn't he try to get off on this crime through a medical technicality? He was too ill. Yes. Oh, God. I'd love to see Travis be a Weinstein. Oh, I know what the... Knowing this, they're saying, um, first of all, I'm a big fan of your movies. Actually, I need to return a few of them. Anyway, let's do this. Wait, Moai Financial? As in Moai. Headstrong Banking. That's an excellent pun. <sighs> I was just saying, let's take a look at some of the... Like, that's the plot of No More Heroes 4 if they ever do it. No, time travel to be up Weinstein. <laughs> Soon of 51, call us. Well, you think, as I'm, for the newest game, there's hire two internet reviewers to help uh, write it. We're not even internet reviewers yet. We, like, we've done, like, one review and it was the world's most fast review. If that, well, they want a fresh set of eyes to do it. If that fucking game of the clean... I just feel like... All right, now in two minutes. All right, for us to generate ideas, we need some dank kush and a bowl. Uh, so I, here you go. I genuinely think Suda Fifty One would see our videos and be like, "Let's hire these people to come with plot details. Mm -hmm. They're clearly insane." Yeah. And when we're saying, "I'm like, where are you guys going?" Like the rest of the writing team, you're joining us. Um. Okay. Now. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, oh, I need to to left, right. Sir, there's nobody to your left. Uh, right then. Oh, don't bother at that joint, Sam. <laughs> it's pausing around the wall, and then everyone stands like, "All right." Uh. And then we get like a um, Brian David Gilbert size, like honey board or something. Is it <laughs> for plot details? Let's 
I love the fact that even you have begun calling them that now. <laughs> but even though they're not called portals, you usually just stick to loads of stuff on walls. How is this happening again? Fuck! Wait, how you block a bullet from the side when you're blocking the front? Don't question it, that man has energy brass knuckles. Energy brass knuckles? Well, oh, uh, I was going to say, was it going to be like Kadars from Evan Jordan? Fucking up there. I mean, pretty much. Was it Kadars? No, it was the laws that had the big fit dual hounds, that was what it was called. <laughs> yeah, the boxing glove. Sorry, you've got me on enough of a tangent. Uh, Lord yep. Of Laws of Shadow 2, right? Yep. Uh, the way for the fire weapon, I think, was a little bit lazy. It was just, like, fire. What they could have done is, like, actual wrist weapons, like, inspired by uh, Diablo 3. What was the fire weapon again? It's just literal fire. No, you see, they did the wrist weapons thing in Devil May Cry. Oh. We're going to get bad to Devil May Cry. They bought that back in DMC5 as well. Because, um, yeah, one of Dante's weapons is Ifrit, which is literally just flaming boxing gloves. And they bought it back in 5, but made it OP as all fuck. I mean, in Diablo 3, I didn't play as the monk. I played as the... I was basically the witcher. Um, and then there's a the demon crossover. Hunter. Yeah, the demon hunter I played as. Um, but with this, yeah, with the monk, you can get like, actual functional uh, wrist weapons. Um, which look good, which allows you to, I think, like, because they cover your arms and things, act as shield, or so you can block and then punch and things. Uh -huh. If they did something like that with the fire weapon, I think it would have worked nicely. On a side note, well, I think they could have expanded the game greatly, but instead of having, like, the just the ice and the fire, they could have brought in um, air and earth as well, have four different weapons, and so extend the game. Mm. And kind of a third point. I noticed both Lost of Shadows, the third boss is a fake out. Because the first one you're about to fight uh, Zobak, but then Death kills, uh, but then, no, the devil kills him. Then the third one, you're about to, it uh, looks like you're going to fight the third Acolyte, but then the devil kills him. Was he the third? Like, I wouldn't say that he's the third boss, because there's other bosses in between. Because mm, you have the Toy Maker and stuff in between the Acolytes. Alright, mm, there's a good point. I mean, technically, like, the Toy Maker might be the third boss, because I haven't count, count, so you might still be right about being a fake out, though. Well, the first boss like, is that, the Electric I, Woman. The second one is the Lightning Guy. Well, I don't I mean, know if you're I, a second No, no, we, actually, are we counting the different forms as different bosses, because you fight them at separate times? Uh, what do you mean? Well, because you fight the woman in the lab, and then she's chained up for, like, a good chunk of the story, and then she breaks out, and you have another boss fight against I'd her. I'd too. Okay, we're going to have to Google this so that we can get an answer as to which boss is the fake out one. It's the third acolyte. Oh, shit. The one who's summoning the devil. Or Satan. I forget what they call him in that. No, they call him Satan. Yeah. And I rewatched that scene and people kept calling him chicken legs. Yeah, because it's like his weird ass pigeon legs that they gave him. Yeah. It's, no, it's crow feet. That was it. It's crow feet. Honestly, I like that design, because it's a nice change from giving him horse feet. There we go. I'm getting better at playing this since the last time we played this game. Oh, shoot him up. No, just this particular parody shoot look they made. I am confused. Would something like this count as a shoot map or a bullet This hell? is a bullet hell. No. Because shoot em ups are side to side, isn't it? Whereas this is. No, bullet hell can be side to side as well. Yeah. It's just like bullet hell is specifically this shit where you're dodging bullets. Mm -hmm. I think Toho is the pioneer in those games. Amazingly, Suda51 actually did do a proper bullet hell as well. Really? Yeah, I'll be getting to that with Reese at some point. Time travel, biplanes, World War II. Plumber, a daddy's girl, chickens, crazed yuppies, evil bosses, shower scenes, race cars, pandas, a nun? Uh, people think I rewatched that uh, last week, and people point out in the comments that apparently it's being ported onto newest gen consoles. I'll be honest, I'm not surprised considering Limited Run Games was selling limited edition physical copies of fucking Night Trap, Sam. What, which one was Night Trap? Night Trap's that one where um, you're watching security cameras. While a bunch of people in black outfits try and kidnap members of a house. 
Um, it's that one where it's been the... a while since I watched that one, but that looks like more gameplay because it requires... it's it's that one where the AVGN is like, yeah, get the tennis racket because he gets distracted watching yeah. random monitors. Mm -hmm. It's like a more accurate version of Five Nights at Freddy's or something. The other th reverse Five Nights at Freddy's. You're the other one moving. Let's just talk about this for a second because mm -hmm. um, this actually has bonuses. Like this isn't just like a joke mini game. They actually programmed the lockables into this shit. Into this mini game. Yeah, because um, if you can get through the entire thing without dying or something, you unlock extra forms of Glastonbury. Glastonbury. The big white robot. Oh. Well, I was about to say, um, what do you get if you do no hit run? No, this is the fit. You get like invincibility or something. Yeah, with Lord of Shadows 2, um, I love it. Yeah, yeah, the four elements, that way, four wind, they could do like a spear and earth, a hammer and things. It allowed for a lot more moves and things, and different boss strategies and things. And what one thing I've loved is the put in a wolf form and a like, bat form. Well, yeah, because they had the wolf and the bat form, the yellow card, the OC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, like, that's never been Dracula's thing. Dracula just goes straight up into a large monster bat, usually. Because he doesn't need the smaller forms because he's fucking Dracula. <laughs> hey, hey, had PW problems? It's a well-known thought that John has problems with Phoenix right in his spare time. Why, is he beating him up or suing him? <laughs> I think he's suing him. Well, suing him for libel. <laughs> yeah. He mishandled his court case. No, he lost, he misplaced his teeth. That's right, I was trying to spell soup with three letters and then you just chatted me. I was wondering if you were trying to spell your name or something. No, we your should... Your initials. L -M -N. Yeah, how are you going to spell soup with only three letters? We'll just put soft and that, like... <laughs> what, going to be like Dave Strider? <laughs> soap. It's 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 soap with a hard U, so it's soup. It's a French pronunciation. If it's a new it sounds more like German. Oh, God. <laughs> it's soap. Oh, God. Is, is it an acronym? It reminds me, like, oh, God, we're going off on a lovely fucking tangent. You remember Ned's New? Did you ever see that back in the 90s? Uh, back in the 90s, a little young at the time. Sorry. Sorry, do you, you remember the 90s? You know, not really. I genuinely forget that you're younger than me sometimes, because, like... What, you think oh, I'm older? It's At some point, really life has actually old. made you look older than me. Fight. I think it, it, it's partially the fact that, like... I'm, you look older than me sometimes. Do I? It's the beard, man. You have a beard. Yeah, but you have like this. This I, I beard glows like glaciers. Sam, it takes ages to get to this point. Between the two of us, though, only one of us has been stopped at airport security on suspicion of being a terrorist, and it's not me. It might have just been a random check. I didn't ask them. Yeah, they still picked you out coming back from fucking Turkey, though. So like. Again, I like I blame the beards, but um, no, no, they shouldn't stop people come back from Turkey. They just stop people who don't come back. Yeah, that's when it starts to get suspicious. <laughs> Besides, this, this man, this man's not come back from Turkey, sir. We should stop him coming through checkout. The man who's not who's not come back and not in the airport. Yes, you're a fucking idiot, Bob. Yeah, don't worry. We, we, need, we need to stop this man who's not here. Get Professor Schrodinger. Oh, okay. right. No, what the fuck? Schrodinger would be used to find out if someone's a Manchurian candidate or not. Are they or aren't they? To put them in a box with some poison and do the experiment and... Right, what the... F Nad's new. So it was, it was like... So are we going back to the original tangent? Yeah, we're going back to the original tangent. <laughs> no way, I went up the board and joined ISIS. That means I can, I can drink. No wonder they're always so angry. They just need a large beer or something. But come right down. So, like, Disney did the Aladdin movie, and then, like... What, the newest one, that, uh, live action? No, 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 the one in the night in, with Robin Williams. Ba basically, it started off this weird trend in cartoons in the 90s where you'd have, like, normal person with a um, supernaturally empowered friend who's a fast talker. Like, very clearly based on Robin Williams' genie, etc. Yep. But, like, there's this one that's more egregious than most about this kid who gets a pet new... And then when he feeds it, like, the pat food, which is, like, acne brand or something, it turns his new into, like, this hyper-intelligent shapeshifter, who, like, and the voice actor is very fucking clearly trying to do a Robin Williams impersonation. Uh, How much of the original Aladdin 
was Robin Williams sticking to the plot, or them having to change no, they, like, the animations of the genie to mirror him. No, they deliberately yes. changed stuff to um, around him. I completely forgot what fucking part of the, like I know it was Castlevania, but I forgot what part of it made me go into that new. Fuck. I have remembered something else I want to say though. Lords of Shadow 2. Before we go on to it, you're saying I look older. So, when you're buying Alcazar, hey mate, are you 18? Um, I'm a bit over than that. What, you're 19? But look at my drive like this. You faked this date, aren't you? What, no, how old do you think I am? 17. <laughs> I, d I don't get IDs anymore because I just look like a fucking depressed lighthouse keeper now whenever I go around shops. So you Defoe or Spider-Man? Defoe. I never watched it, I just know that Spider-Man's in it. Oh, God. I've seen a Spongebob edit to it. <laughs> I think you sent me it. Yes. <laughs> the light was Spongebob. Lord of Shadow 2. Good game, but like, and, like, they do that thing that I fucking hate, where they have like a bunch of supplementary material in another game, and then don't give you context for it in the game itself. Yeah. But, um, like, it annoys me, because the toy maker just kind of shows the fuck up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. But he's a central character to Mirror of Fate, or whatever the fuck it was called. Which was like a 3DS game. Yeah. I think, I do believe they've ported it to PS4, but I could be talking shit. Yeah, with Mortal Shadow 2, uh, I felt that the ending was a bit... I don't know if this is the right word, lackluster. Mm. Uh, when he kills it and just... Leaves the body there. I thought that'd be a massive explosion. Because he'd literally killed the fucking devil. Yeah, but they have a weapon that's specifically designed to kill the devil. So you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's kind of like that's kind of part of the point that it's lackluster though, because it's the devil. Because it's like it's like it adds more to how humiliated his character is if if, if his dad's lackluster. Oh, I suppose yeah. <laughs> he said that with a smile. Oh, your parents. Oh, my parents are dead. This is where I watched my parents die, Parappa. What, they died in a... Like, uh, did someone accidentally swallow them in half? Oh, no, they died of boredom on my school recital. <laughs> His parents died in a tragic four-play accident on the motion. While, while watching the school play. No, on the motion. Well, so people... Uh, parents are on the... <laughs> my God, what are they doing? Is, the... is that an orange? Oh, God. I was trying to imply they they died in a foreplay accident driving back from the school recital. Wait, so who was driving? Exactly, that's why they died. <laughs> <laughs> the plot twist. What, so they're both going down on each other? Uh, it's not kind of weird, like, they have to be really flexible and... No, the plot twist is the orange was driving. Like, it deliberately wanted to bump them off, so it steered them. <laughs> that was bumping them off. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, is he a fucking idiot? I'm here to kill this guy. Let me just get strapped up, so I can't defend myself. Mm. I do love how like fucking ridiculous this court scene is, though. Where like he just gets out, and then everyone's like, "Yay, bow for the curtain." Ooh. And who's he doing this performance to? Just Sylvia. Yeah. Or is this a warm-up performance? What they call it? Uh, Foreplay. I was going to say practice performance, like to make sure. No, I'm pretty sure he is just trying to kill off him early through the use of his stage magician bullshit. Just know that uh, once all the plot's been written and everyone's met, they do like a full run through of the play to make sure everyone knows what they're doing and things. It turns out he's actually just doing this because Penn and Teller are hidden up on the balcony. <laughs> like the hit review is show. No, maybe he was rejected by the magician's guild, whoever they're part of. Out am I? <laughs> Funny, you know Penn and Teller aren't members of the Magic Circle? Oh yeah, they get kicked out because they uh, tell people the tricks behind their tricks. No, they've never even been accepted because they tell people how the oh. tricks work. <laughs> it, Travis deserved to be a full fucking character in Smash. Like, No More Heroes is practically the killer app for the Switch. Not the Switch, the Wii. What? Well, because it was a Wii exclusive. Like, a lot of people bought Wii's just to play No More Heroes because of how, like, 
Shooter 51 still had reputation at the time because he's already done Killer 7 on the GameCube. But it still had reputation at the time. Nowadays, what, they kind of lost their reputation? No, he has more reputation, but it's like he still has a significant amount of clout <laughs> back in like 2006. <laughs> Fucking camera. Goddamn pigeons. Mike Tyson, give me strength. No, no, I'm thinking of. Uh, you've heard the director Yoko Taro. He did uh, the near games. Yep. And drinking off. After, because uh, I platinumed uh, uh, Also Martha. Yeah, his writing is quite in depth and things, and also a little insane. Also depressing. Yeah, because spoilers for people who haven't uh, played it in 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 7. Um, humanity is dead. That's how the game starts. Oh, man, humanity is just dead. Yeah, the androids still survive, though, if you get the brass and Kind of. Yeah, but the whole thing is, um, I think I've seen you the review, uh, like, Ghost in the Machine, except humanity is the ghost, and everyone's haunted by them. Mm. I do love the ending to that, though, is that you have to start in fighting between the AIs. Because that's, that's fucking beautiful. Stop fighting them, just dodge until they overpopulate themselves. Yeah. Well, I didn't get uh, the truth that was revealed to 9S until playing a second time when I was doing the C ending. Yep. Um, Project Yorha wasn't created by humanity. It was created by the aliens. Or well, specifically the robots. Hmm. As to be an opponent for them to... Well, for evolutionary pressure. Now when they no longer leave them, they're putting a kill switch. Yep. With shadows right. of the damned PP weapons. Well, isn't it just one gun you can upgrade? Yeah, but it has different forms. Hang on a second. Wait, does that mean this is in the same universe as that? Yeah. Shut. Because um, Travis Strikes Again has him going to the shadows of the damned universe at one point. Just a little animation. Hmm. It's messy. Oh, so going back to Lords of Shadow. Also, I hate the the, the current Belmont. They just killed off. Yeah, because the they don't give him enough time to characterize him properly. Yeah. Then they could have handled it a lot better. The way I would have done is have it where there's like three types of enemies running around, or at least two. There's the demons. Then there's also wandering like heroes of the light, or whatever the order's called. Um, so just things like that. Honestly, it would have just been neat to have more playable characters than Dracula. Hmm, I think so. Again, I'm... being the only playable character, it was just the game could have been expanded upon greatly. On the bright side, at least, story-wise, like, the Belmont lineage isn't completely dazzling in that universe. Well, they killed the current Belmont, No, Dracula can still have more kids, though. Can he? Yeah. I thought uh, Vampires was dark. No. Not Castlevania version. No. Can't you remember Alucard as a thing that exists? In yeah, the, uh... No, remember the mainstream universe, though. Uh, at some point, some people are going to have to acknowledge that Dracula fucks. Oh, that painting of her is it? yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, like uh, um, what is it? Lucy, her face in the painting is like, oh yeah, he's big. Like, he's very clearly not sterile anyway. My point is that, like, Ca like Lord of Shadow 2 probably has the happiest ending out of any of the fucking Castlevania games. Kit Lord knows we're never going to get the actual fucking ending to the series. What do you mean? Well, was it cancelled early, or...? Well, because obviously Konami doesn't fucking make games anymore, they just make pachinko machines. Well, with Lord of Shadow 2, uh, they wrap things up, I mean... No, they... no, I mean mainstream universe. The Not the Lord of Shadow universe. Oh, um... Because, um... It's one of the PS2 games... Kit, when, um... Count San Germain shows up, <laughs> he's a time traveller in the games... Like an actual time traveller. Yep. As opposed to just finding the infinite corridor and um, he keeps alluding to the final war with Dracula which takes place in, I think, 2005? If Konami... Or something, and it's just like, we're never going to get that game. 
if Konami had any fucking sense, they would hire Eager's company to create a game to finish off the main timeline. Like, give them license to make it. They'll make a mm. bit of money. Fans get what they want. And it's the guy who directed uh, Symphony of the Night, so he knows what he's fucking doing. If Konami had any fucking chance, they'd sell everything to Capcom. Or at least license it out so people, they can finish all the main storylines. Yes. Or, another thing they should do is... Uh, we need to play whatever the fuck that one is with San Germain, though. It's only on PS2, so I'm going to have to eBay it and pay up the nose. But, like, yep. I really want to play that with you. I was going to say, um, they should hire... They have fucking Hector as the main character. Hmm. Like, fucking Hector. Yep. They should hire uh, Kojima back to create a finished version of MDS5, like his original vision. Nah. Kojima needs to make more of his own shit. <laughs> Like, I want to see, like, honestly, I want to see him make a game that actually has Major Tom in it as a character. Like, you can't tell me you don't want to go see astronauts in space. Well, astronauts in space. Oh, that's the best place to see them. I don't know. Astronauts in space. Sounds like a B-movie from the 1970s. Fuck! Oh, I meant to say Romans... I don't... <laughs> well, astronauts and Romans, that's a gay porn film from the 2000s. Uh, well, could, could you remember it? Like, Major Tom's like some sort of astronaut centurion. Fuck's sake. Astronauts in space. Just just the camera smash cuts to, like, some German scientists. Oh, yeah, this is a great idea. Have you been sticking some under the ocean? What have you been sticking in the ocean? Centurions, astronauts, the astronauts, Rome. Like, they couldn't figure out what to do. The astronauts, they just stuck them under the sea. Like, attempting to find out what's at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Hmm. Reminds me of a oh, story a few years ago when the Space Force were created in the US and it showed the official uniform was, like, the standard camouflage and people were saying, well, this is shit camouflage. You'll be able to see them easily in space. But people point out that if they're wearing just a standard fatigues, like camouflage, in space... You'll be dead. Mm. It's meant for on-the-ground operations and things. Um, when you're in space, you'd wear EVA suits. And on that terrible revelation, it's time to end this episode. What the fuck are we going to call this one? <laughs> um, tangenting through Kojima's space castle. Yes.